Hey, what's up, FizEd family? My name is Tyler Yates, and this is PE with Mr. G. Today, I wanted to share an awesome activity that my students love, and it's called Steal the Treasure, and it's for grades kindergarten through second. So the equipment you'll need for this game are three hula hoops, four to six buckets, two pool noodles, and a large number of pool noodles cut into small sections, or just a bunch of bean bags. To start the game, you're going to take your buckets and spread them down a line. The buckets will represent each team's treasure chest. Depending on how many students you have will determine how many buckets you need. An easy teaching tip, always try to place them on a line as this helps with organization and management. Next, spread your hula hoops out and add in the bean bags. They don't have to be even, just divide them up as best as you can. The hula hoops will represent the treasure chest and the bean bags will represent the treasure inside. The last thing you need to do is divide your class into four to six different teams and have them stand behind a bucket. So as many of you guys know, I like to break my games down into different levels. Level one in this game is super simple and it allows students to understand how the game is going to be played. When the round starts, the first player from each team is going to run down, grab one piece of treasure. Once they've grabbed one, they're going to run it back and place the treasure in their bucket. The next person can't go until they get a high five. This process is just like a relay race and will continue until there's no more treasure or for a set time limit. At the end of the round, you can have students add up to see how much treasure they got or you can get right to round two. In round two, things are going to get a little harder. In this round, you're going to select one student to be the guard and you're going to hand them the pool noodle. The guard's job is to protect the treasure by running around and tagging any incoming players. When the round starts, the same rules apply as they did in round one. Players will try to sneak past the guard, grab one piece of treasure, and bring it back to their treasure chest. If a player runs down and gets tagged by the guard, then they don't get to grab a piece of treasure and must turn around, give the next person a high five, and go to the end of the line. If another player runs down and grabs a piece of treasure, but then gets tagged on the way back, then this player must go back, return the treasure, and then run back to the end of their line. This is a continuous round that can keep going until all the treasure is stolen or for a set time limit. For level 3, you can make it as challenging as you'd like. You can either add a second or third guard into the game, or if you really want to get your students excited, you can join the game as the ultimate treasure protector. The same rules apply as they did for level 2. The only teaching tip I have for this game is if you're playing with kindergarten, I would start with less groups and bigger teams. This allows you to help monitor everything in level 1 so everyone isn't running all at once. Once they have the hang of it, you can create more groups for level 2. Again, this is Steal the Treasure for grades kindergarten through second, and thank you so much for watching.